Okay, here we are at the Chicago Comic Con, and I'm honored to be with a terrific actor, actor Noah Hathaway, correct? How you doing? Yeah, nice absolutely. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Noah. Um, what do you think of the event so far today? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It's a hell of a crowd already. Yeah. yeah, it's packed, so it should be good. Well, one of my favorite films you were in, The Never Ending Story. What a terrific film. Uh, how did you get involved in that film? You know what? They they did a worldwide search, auditioned for like a year. I must have. I, I mean, I must have auditioned a dozen different times for it. And they they had two di two directors. They fired the first one. They hired me for it. Then they had another whole worldwide search, and then another director hired me again. So it was kind of like a meant to be thing, I guess. You know. So yeah. Uh, Wolfgang Peterson, excellent director. How's it working with him? He was great. He's very meticulous. You know, knows what he wants. Knows how to get it. Very German, sure. yeah. And the effect, well, the effects were kind of groundbreaking at the time, cinematography wise. Absolutely, we did. We, I mean, most of the stuff was you know, it was pre CGI, so everything was animatronics, and and uh, which I, I you know it. it the movies nowadays, they miss a little something because of it. You know, everything is, is artificial now, and, and it, you lose some texture. You know, you lose a little feeling to it. So I'm a big fan of the old 80s type movies, like Labyrinth and Dark Crystal anyways. There's just something about them that, you know, that they haven't been able to, to, to duplicate yet, you know? Ah. Why was Devon and story so special and kind of long-lasting today? I, th I think it stands up today. It's still, I, I just think there's uh, there's a lot of emotion in it, and, and a lot of. Uh, uh, I mean, the, it comes from an amazing book. The, the book was brilliant, and uh, I just think they did a really good job. There's a little something for everybody. It's it's uh, it's not all smoke and mirrors, you know. It's like there's a real story there, and and uh, yeah, I think it really stands up uh, still. The Empress. Did you get to meet the the, the opposite kid? I can't. The there's Sebastian. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sebastian. We, we worked one day together, and that was it. And and uh, I haven't seen him since we we shot the movie. So yeah. Um, the, what do you got coming? What are you doing now? What do you got? Uh, uh, I got a movie called Sushi Girl coming out. Uh, it's with Mark Hamill and Tony Todd and uh, Michael Bean and Jeff Fahey, and and uh, it's like a throwback to the Grindhouse movies, a little 70s feel, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a little violent, a little, you know, it's a little Tarantino-y, the feel to it. So I got that coming out at the beginning of the year. Uh, did another movie called The Critic. So, uh, but we're really excited about Sushi Girl. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely check that out. And we thank you again coming out to the uh, Comic-Con. It's a terrific event. Thanks My so pleasure. much for coming today. the best people watching in the world here. <laughs>